I just regard myself as being enormously lucky to be living in that community. And I must say, I've been in some, some communities which have been quite painful, but this would be one of my happiest experiences. And then they're lovely people to work with. And they've, they're, 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 their sense of joy and love of life, and they can, they can laugh at them. I mean, they teach me a lot of patience. They teach me a philosophy of life that is, is very enriching. Their, their reverence and respect for God and the things of God is, is, it's, very, it's, it's, um, it's very moving. And their simple trust, the things will work out somehow. And if you've got that kind of goodwill and belief and trust being generated within the community, you've got hope. We're all infected and, as they say, affected by HIV AIDS. I think 80% of the children in the local primary school would somehow be affected and they would be, if not their double orphan, then their single orphan. The, the, the range of neglect and the range of care is phenomenal. So it's just so important that uh, programs are put in place. So I feel very proud of Anna and Regita and uh, at what we are doing just with the three of us there, uh, just to be a witness for the church, that, that, that they matter, that we care about them, that the work that they do would be keeping so many people alive who would have been dead, who would have been dead. You know, the, the, the drugs that you're using. The, the, the drugs and the medication and the monitoring of the women, for example, now accompanying childbirth is phenomenal because now that they can give drugs to the women who they know are positive, um, they can cut down on the incidence of HIV. program. This program started two, since 2010, uh, 2001 and the number of our clients keep increasing and the main aim of our program is keeping people alive, giving them hope that they can be productive and because the number of orphans is increasing of recent, we discovered that because parents are able to go back to productive life, they are able to sustain the orphans and we have more help coming. So any little help you give, any little thing, always can reach the people and they're ever grateful for it. Thank you. I'd like to say, uh, without your help, there's no way that I would be working in Zambia. Myself, I would earn no income it's completely uh, unpaid and uh, your donation, your gift, your interest, your encouragement is just wonderful. And I know that without your donation we, can, we could not work, we could not continue, we could not even establish a young sisterhood. So I'd like to say thank you very much and please give generously. Mm -hmm.